One, two. No basic zone. Good morning, peeps, and welcome back to a new video. This video is going to be a glow up video, a glow up vlog, pampering vlog, self care vlog. All of that is going to be in the title, okay? That's what we're doing in this vlog. So before we start this vlog off, make sure you leave your girl a thumbs up. Subscribe to join the Stitch Gang down below. Become a Stitch Gal. And follow me on Instagram as well at the Stitch Life. So, I'm in bed. It's Monday morning. I woke up a couple of hours ago. I've been, like, planning out my to-do list and stuff. It's 10.55, right? My voice is kind of coming back, but it's not 100% back as yet. If you watched the last vlog, you know. But... Today we have a lot on the agenda. Matter of fact, let me pull up the to-do list. The lighting right now, we need this energy for the rest of the video, for all my videos rather. Um, let me pull up my to-do list. So today, we need to install a wig. We need to do our nails. Do you see Do you see what's going on here? One hand, press-ons. The other hand, nada. Well, two press-ons actually. So we need to install a wig. We need to do our nails. I wanna do a mask. I want to shave my face um, because the stash is coming in. And we don't like that. What else do I say I want to do? Oh, I need to do a foot mask as well. Yeah, so a couple of masks. But the main thing is to install my wig, do my nails, and try to get myself together because this, we need to be looking presentable. This is presentable. We need to be looking presentable to record videos this week because I'm back. So let's do this. My hair is currently in braid and twist underneath this scarf. But I'm gonna braid it and then I'll most likely be back when it's time to install because I did buy a wig that I feel like is gonna be cute for this week. Just something quick so I can get my content out, take my pictures and stuff like that. And then I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair in the upcoming week. But for right now, we're going with the wig, okay? Guess who's back with Fresh Dream Chaser Volume 1 braids? The Make Millie's. My hair looks super big now. But I got my braids done. Now I need to work on this wig. And I took off my press-ons as well because I have another set of press-ons. I don't know if I want to do that or if I want to just do a gel manicure. I'll show you guys my options. But let me show you guys the wig first because the wig is what I'm going to actually do first while I um, figure out if I'm going to do a gel manicure or if I'm going to do press-ons. Okay, so this is the wig that I got. It's called Sister Wig Beyond Your Imagination. I've really heard of this brand. This to be on your imagination. This is what the wig looks like. It's a 22 inch crimp wig. I actually saw this, the first time I saw this, it had, I think it was color 30. And I wasn't really feeling the 30. I was like, do you have a 1B? Because I need it to look like it's my hair. Um, so this is in the 1B color. It's cute. I don't know how long these crimps are gonna last, but again, this is something real quick. Um, so let me pull her out and let's see. How we feel about it, shall we? So this is the lace. I don't think it's terrible. And I didn't mention what I paid. 49 Dolores for this wig. But I'm gonna go in the bathroom, set up, and we're gonna do it. We're gonna install it. Okay, so I'm gonna it. I lined it. Okay. So I'm back. This is the wig. I added a little bit of makeup to the lace. I also plucked it a little bit off camera. So I'm not really a fan of putting a wig cap on my head when I wear these synthetic wigs. I just don't really like it and I feel like you can see it through the lace as well. So I'm just going to apply it straight on my head. I'm also making a TikTok. Follow me on TikTok at the Stitch Life because I'm going to try that mask on, mask off thing. But let's go ahead and put her on. See what she looks like. I look like something straight out of a Halloween movie, Joe. Uh-uh, I wanted the other lay, the other part. But it's gonna have to work, it's right on my head, right? Damn, I was supposed to get the other one. I misjudged the position of the part. So there was another one in the store that was a little bit shorter, same design, but the part would have been on this side. Being that it was on the model, on the mannequin, I thought, I just misjudged it. I wanted the part to be on this side, but it's fine. We don't have to work with this part because my good side is this side. Girl, this is what it looks like, right? I don't feel like the lace is bad. What do you think? Isn't that a weird? 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 Where is it? Where is it? And I've actually brushed through this 
feels good the ends could be a little better but it's not gonna stay this long for long and it's not gonna be in my head for long either but 22 22 inch all right let me start working on this lace i don't have my contacts in but mm, so i'm probably gonna be all up in your face but it's fine let's start working on the lace i'm like positioning out this way so i can see in the mirror too yeah that makes sense that looks like it in this back there are a few baby hairs on here too i realized so that's nice very thoughtful we go about the extra girls seven me a claw clip claw clip season it's kind of like an ear to ear situation kind of girl ow all right let me get some alcohol hold on oh the makeup i'm like why is my forehead so dirty it's the makeup i'm like i just washed my face what's going on it's the makeup I put on the lace. And this is fresh braids too. So that's why I also don't, I would rather put on a um, uh, backing cap, but it's fine. Because then my hair gets dirty from the makeup. So today I'm using this Kiss All Mighty Bond. Am I got, am I got to be? Am I setting me a band? This will got the background noise. This is work.
one need to go back, but I like this band because it has Velcro, so you can loosen it or tighten it as you please. And you don't have to retie the whole thing. Let me find my razor. I can't find my hair razor, but I did get my little curling iron to work on the edges in a second. And um, I'm gonna have to use my regular scissors because I don't know where my razor is. I don't see my razor. Oh. Let me try to cut it like as if it were a razor. Is that working? Not really. Chill. Don't try this out. What did I just do? <laughs> oh my God. I'm gonna cut those down a little bit more, but for right now, girl, this one is not supposed to be here. Yeah, this one needs to go back in the vault. I'm gonna do one by the ears as well. Okay, I need to take this part down too, or tack it down. Are we getting somewhere? I think we are. I'm just gonna cut an angle because I don't like what I was doing before. I'm not too pressed on the edges because I know that um, it's not gonna last forever. Let me cut this part. Probably would have been smarter for me to put my contacts in so that you could see, but of course not. So what I'm gonna do, what I'm finna do, what I'm finna do, what I'm finna do is I'm gonna add some more got to be. Do one final meltdown. And I guess in the meantime, I can show you guys what I have for our nails. Okay. Nail options. I can either do a red gel mani. This is the shade of red, right? There's one side, I get these from Amazon, perfect match, the brand of the chat. One side is regular polish and the other side is gel polish. So you get two polishes. Not the price of one, but good price, I'd say. Like, how much did I pay for these? I wanna say like $15, not that, that's not bad. So, I don't know, should I do the red? Or, should I wear one of these two? So both are coming from Kiss. I'll leave links down below. I am a Kiss affiliate. So any of the links will be affiliate links. That means I get a small coin if you purchase through those links. Same with the Amazon um, links as well. This is from Amazon. So I have this Kiss set. Bogish Fantasy, right? This one has black and white swirl patterns. It also has silver glitter. I don't know how I feel about that glitter now. I'll probably just disregard it entirely and use another one for this tortoise set. This is also coming from Kiss. This I actually got from Family Dollar. I paid three dollars for this. That's not bad. I just really like this. I feel like this is perfect for fall. I'm already kind of leaning to this one. We might be going with this set. Is it safe to do my edges now? I don't know. This is what happens when you don't really be doing stuff like this because I think it's safe. I feel like I can lay my edges now. Um, but I'm gonna plug in my flat iron. So I'm just gonna curl the baby hairs before laying them. I've been seeing the girls do that. So I'm gonna do that since I'm one of the girls now. This is my chi chai, however you pronounce it, flat iron. Not giving scalp just yet, but loaded. my edge booster and I don't have that little cute flat iron that I'll be using to just do the front 
like that. I don't even know if I can flat iron this here. I'm gonna... Oh, uh, bitch, I don't think I can. I don't think I can. Nope. Shnope. Shnope. <laughs> Shnope. I have my, my edge control. Let me turn off flat iron since we will be needing her sips as services today. I'm gonna spray a little bit of the got to be. And we just gonna do that. Things are already looking good. Okay, they're already looking good. Once you got the edges, it don't matter how the wig is installed in my opinion, child. If you got the edges done, you <laughs> everything else will work out just fine. But of course, we have to find the edges because where the hell did I put them? Okay. Mm, eh. Okay. <laughs> I sound horrible still. Bear with me. I gotta work on these corner pieces. The important pieces. My least favorite pieces. This is so damn thick. Girl, what? You see why this is my least favorite piece? These are my least favorite pieces. I don't even know what transpired over here. You did I even do a thing? No, I look like somebody's Jamaican auntie. And I'm Jamaican, so that's not an insult. <laughs> the pressure's on. I look like Elvis Presley. <laughs> you gotta be able to laugh at yourself. Like, you have to be able to laugh at yourself. If not, like, all right. I've already accepted that these edges, edges by my ears are not gonna be spectacular. This one I could work with. This one, no, it's gonna be fine. You know why it's gonna be fine? Because I said it's gonna be fine. We got a brush. I don't want to wet it because I don't really want it to get too big, but disregard this air, but we could pull out this air if y'all really want to, if you really want to take it there, we could pull out this air, can we, we could pull it out from like over here. <laughs> She moving for today. Give me like five days. She might not be moving no more. But synthetic wear. Synthetic wear. <laughs> okay. So hair is done. Hair is good done. I'm liking it. I'm gonna do a clean up on all six now because six looking crazy. We've been working on three this whole time. We need to do a clean up on all six. She's cute. She could work for like five days. Really for these videos that I used to punch out for y'all. And that's really what they're gonna work for and then I could do I could like it don't matter what I do in my hair after like the world is gonna see me regularly but YouTube needs to see me looking good okay this is my business she needs to look good for business everybody else y'all good y'all can see me however I could care less but um this is cute right I think so so let me do a clean up and then I'll be back and we can do our nails I'm probably just gonna do them in here since I'm already in here. since I'm already in here and then Okay, we're back. I did a clean up on aisle six. I also trimmed down my nails just a little bit. Sorry for that. Trimmed down my nails just a little bit. I'm going to buff them really quickly. Oh yeah, I just got this from my local beauty supply store. I also decided with the tortoise nails, so we're gonna apply those. Um, really quick tips: if you guys are interested in wearing press-ons, we're trying to figure out how my press-ons last for so long. Mine's be lasting for like a whole two weeks, girl. And even when I'm trying to take them off. I'm struggling to take some of the nails off. Some of them will come off easily, but some of them just last for like, they could last for like three weeks. But I usually keep a set on for like two weeks and then I'm kind of over it. So, tips, definitely buff your nails before. Trimming them down helps to la for them to last longer as well. And I always use the Kiss glue that comes in the package. I only use Kiss press on nails, like that's the only nails 
press on the other brand that I've ever tried. So I use the Kiss Glue inside. I don't use anything else extra and I do not recommend um, washing your hands or wetting your hands for like a whole hour after you've applied your press on nails because you want that glue to really dry. So I'm gonna put you guys down. Let's get to work. Put you down right here. We've cleaned the space off a little bit. I have my nails like right here. They're already laid out. I just map them out and try to see which ones match or fake nails. Quickly, I'm gonna buff, and then when I buff, I don't wash off the um, filings at all. I like just use a paper towel, which is why I have this one sit underneath me, and I just go in and dust the way. And I also do one hand at a time. You could push back your cuticles too, um, but being that mine. I literally just took off nails. My cuticles are fine, but had I not been wearing press on nails, I'd have been pushing back my cuticle too. I'm just going to thoroughly clean that off. If you have one of those fancy brushes, you could do that now too, but I don't got that. Okay, let's get to work. I also apply glue to both my real nails and the press on nails so let's proceed let's proceed hold for like 20 seconds and I'm gonna watch some YouTube in the meantime Grow. So this is the first hand. It's very cute. It's giving executive. I don't know. I kind of like the vibe. I feel like it's perfect for fall. Some people might be like, yo, this is ugly girl. That's you. <laughs> no, you're entitled to your opinion. I 100 percent respect it. But I like them. I think they're cute. Is it just me? Am I the only person that has to like hold the nail up to the face to see like if it's why? And I like it. Anytime I get a new press on or a new set, I put on, apply a new set, I'm always like, does it look good against the face, you know? And I do need to film some content using my hands, so I needed a new set. But these are cute! I like them. Okay, let's do that one. Period, ah, uh, period, ooh. Why do y'all even say that? I'm not judging, but I already applied the other set. This is a terrible angle. My pinky eyes. Like, can you come out? The girls want to see you. I think they're cute. What do y'all think? Mm hmm I think they're cute. They're already hard. This hand is good. So we're gonna wait for an hour. I took my case off my pink case. Y'all know me. This hand still needs to dry, but I'm not gonna wet my hands at all for an hour. So I'll check in a little bit later. <laughs> I'll see you later. Okay, y'all see I'm in the bathroom. I'm calling the bathroom vlog at this point. I went ahead and tied up my hair. I also put on my 7 Mia bonnet that also has these bandage, not bandage, these bands that you can wrap around your edges, but I put the actual um, elastic band from 7 Mia on, so just to make sure it's really secure. But I'm going to go ahead and apply my foot mask now. Ooh, what the hell? I'm gonna use this one. It's a little beat up, it's been on the floor in my room. Don't judge. Um, so I was gonna put this on when I was in Philly when I took my Philly soul location. Putting it to use now. This is the Nature Love Foot Spa Exfoliating Foot Mask. This one gently exfoliates, leaves fresh looking skin smooth and softens the skin as well. Lavender mint scented. It comes with one pair of foot booties. I think I got this one. Did I get this one at Marshalls or Amazon? I purchased some from Amazon. They're like the same thing. You can also find these at Marshalls, TJ Maxx sometimes. So I'm gonna just open this up. So at first I wasn't going to put these on because I um, have a cold, you hear my voice. It's getting better but I haven't 100% got rid of it so I didn't want to put these wet things on my feet. But, oh, this smells so good. But I think I'm going to be fine because I'm going to go ahead and put on socks, like thick socks so I'm walking around the house in that. That way my foot is not like touching the cold floor and cold booties. If that makes sense. So all you do is tear. It's 
to open. And I'm not gonna show my all my toes because my toes are not done and I'm gonna be doing that. And this vlog too that I'm probably not gonna show, but I just know my toes gonna get done. Um, not the best positioning here. This thing is cold. So we got a booty on. This is what I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna put my sock on because I can't be set myself up like that. I love these socks. They're from <laughs> Uniqlo. Oh, it's kind of cold. The only thing that I don't like with these sweatpants, I mean, it's fine if you're like pampering yourself, and that's kind of what I'm doing, but it's also like, girl, I don't feel like keeping these on for an hour. Maybe I will have to sit down for an hour. This is juicy. So, the reason why I like these footmats, right? Well, I actually like applying these right before the summer starts and right before the winter starts. In the summer, you know, you're outside, you're doing your do, you know, walking around with flip flops and sandals and heels and stuff, toes out, um, heel out, and all that. And your feet are tired. I like putting these on at the beginning of spring and at the beginning of fall so that, you know, we have fresh feet or nice soft feet throughout the year. So this is gonna peel. So it doesn't peel right away, it'll start peeling maybe like next week and you'll see it, like not excessive peeling, but you'll see it like when you wash your feet, you'll see like the dead skin falling off. So that's good and I like doing this now because um, I can put my feet away. My feet are not gonna be out, you know, in sandals and stuff like that because it's boot season. It's boot season, it's closed toe shoes season. And then when I do it in the spring, I usually don't have my feet in sandals as yet. So by the time it peels, you know, summer is approaching and then I could have like nice looking feet. You know, my feet. There. With that, my feet are actually one of my insecurities. I don't really have many insecurities and I'm not like super insecure about my feet because I know there's people that's probably insecure about their feet and they don't wear sandals, they don't wear open toe shoes. I'm gonna wear my shoes. <laughs> I don't give up. But I do have a bit of it's like insecurity about those. Yeah, that's why I only see show my piggies, but I do show sometimes on the channel. But um, we're waiting. I'll most likely be back in an hour, and then I'm gonna take my shower. But before I take my shower, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this Mega Babe Happy Pits Detoxifying Underarm Mask with charcoal, glyconic acid, glycolic acid, and vitamin C. So I'll see you guys in an hour. We'll do this mask, and then I'll do it with my little self here in the shower because I've been like doing other things in the house, so I haven't showered since morning. So I'll do that and then um, I'll paint my toes and I need to shave my face. If not, tomorrow I'm gonna try to run to Target if I can't find my razor for my face and um, get the wax strips to wax my mustache, wax my face. So, see you in an hour. Okay, I'm back. It's been roughly an hour. Now I'm gonna go in with my Mega Babe Happy Bits for five minutes. Oh, smells like charcoal and more charcoal. Let's see how the pit's looking. Not terrible. So I like the applicator. It looks like actual deodorant. That's how it looks coming out. Is that even showing? How are you focused on the... There we go. Like what does it take? So I like the applicator. I'm just going to roll this on my pit. And I'm gonna, ooh, ooh, that get a little messy. Roll it on this side too. It's way more liquidy than the deodorant. I'm trying to clean off the top. I'm gonna wipe the top off before closing it. And hey Siri. Uh -huh. Set the timer for five minutes. Five minutes starting now. She listened today, girl. She be all up in your business. But whenever you actually talking to her, she don't listen. <laughs> but she was listening today. Detox the clock for your pits. Charcoal and kale and clay combine to with 
to draw out impurities ideal for easing the transition to aluminum free deodorant maintaining happy pits with glycolic acid to smooth and brighten tested on mega babes and never animals so we've applied an even layer to dry pits leave mask on for five minutes and remove with warm water or cloth use once two times a week so i'm gonna try to incorporate this into my regimen at least once a week my body regimen body care regimen at least once a week this is kind of dragging it because i'm being realistic and like i don't really get to pamper like that but in the new year hopefully i shouldn't wait till the new year i should start now but i'm just being realistic like Sometimes I'll be in the shower and get in the bed. <laughs> I don't want to do all the extra stuff. So, yeah. This is what they look like. I don't know if I should keep my arms up, but I guess I'll use be on my phone. So, we're already down to three minutes. Damn, I was talking for two minutes already. Tomorrow is a full on work day, okay? Tomorrow I'm going to wake up and film videos. And this TikTok ad is annoying. I'm going to wake up and film videos. So today I just wanted to get myself right. And so far, we getting it done. Okay, we getting it done. We are getting it done. I feel like my voice is kind of sorry to back. Sounding a little less hoarse than earlier. But um, what I was saying was I recorded a TikTok today. Well, I edited my TikTok. It's been sitting in the vault for a minute. And I just needed to um, make a voiceover for it. And I also made another TikTok too. And then tomorrow I need to finish one of my TikToks. That being said, follow me on TikTok at the Stitch Life. Follow me on Instagram at the Stitch Life. Subscribe to my YouTube channel at the Stitch Life. Everything's at the Stitch Life. Speaking of how is TikTok doing? So the TikTok girlies. What I realized is with TikTok, your video could do trash. Let me fix the top top the towel. Your video could do trash, right? And then in like a month, you get mad views and it's like, oh, okay. Don't delete it, basically. That's more of a story, even with YouTube. Don't delete it. So how long have I been talking now? A minute and 44 seconds left, so almost four minutes. A little bit over four minutes, rather. But guys, we are so close to 8K. When I touch 8K, it's gonna be something serious because eight is my favorite number. One, I was born on the eighth. Two, did I say that eight is my, eight is my favorite number? Three, eight is gonna be as big as 10K is gonna be. But I know I'm touching AK before the new year. That's one period. That's one period. Um, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. I'm gonna make it my goal to touch AK by the end of October. It is about to be October 1st in like, what, five days, four days? I fell off a little bit in September, but it's all right. It's all right, we're gonna run it back up. Being at, oh, that's the timer, but I think I'm gonna leave it on for another minute. That being said, tonight I am actually doing my affordable shower routine stop just stop and i wanted to give you guys a quick update on the taraji p henson gel body cleanser i used this in a recent vlog i don't remember what vlog it was but i used it in a recent vlog but i was just testing it out in that vlog now it's my actual current body cleanser am i the only person that feels like if i don't have a everlasting sud experience it's not really doing much so I feel like my suds don't last as long with this. Like I feel like I have to keep applying more body um, cleanser or more body wash to my loofah to continue to wash my body. So I love the scent of this, but I don't like that it doesn't sud as much as I would like it to because I feel like I'm not really cleaning my skin. Is it just me? So I'd rate this a five. Love the scent, but I feel like we could have worked on the formula just a little bit, just a little bit, and it's not as nourishing as I would like it to be. Um, that's another thing, like compared to my Olay Artist Series body wash, it's not as cleansing. But I'm using this tonight. I feel like I've chat for I've chatted for another minute, so I'm gonna go in the shower and wash this off, wash off my feet as well, and then I'm gonna come out and paint my nails. I don't know if I'm gonna paint my nails. I wish I had black. Do I? Oh. I'm gonna paint my toenails black. That's what I'm gonna do. I usually do like white or like some light color, but black, that's what we're gonna do when we get Okay, I am 
fresh out. <clears throat> Excuse me. I really love my nails. Did I tell you that already? Okay. I cleaned my toes. Um, you guys know I took the mask off, but I also like went through with the um, cuticle tool and cleaned my cuticles. Um, so I'm going to paint my toes with this. The chat as well, but this is the black color. See? These can be found on Amazon. So on one side is the gel. The other side is the regular nail polish. I'm not going to be doing gel on my toes. Because I don't know. I feel like my toes don't need gel. I feel like my toenails are a little bit sensitive. Because I like just abuse gel. Which is also why I've been doing my nails at home. Um, I've used acrylic abuse gel. So I've just been doing my stuff at home. And I feel like I kind of like doing my own nails too. I definitely like doing my own toes. But I've been enjoying doing my own nails too. So I'm going to use this Lachette polish. This color is called... Um, black velvet but really quickly i want to show you guys my fragrance combo for the night yes i put on fragrance at night if you saw my fragrance collection you would understand why so i'm going in with this gourmand addict from zara this one and i'm mixing it with my current fave this fresh cream warm cashmere from philosophy just straight up edible lick five fingers edible <laughs> that's the type of edible this is just so good and I don't feel bad because these are not like super expensive. Paint me later. So I'll show you guys my toes after I finish painting them because yeah, I can't see them right now. They look a little too crazy. And then I think tomorrow I'm just going to go and pick up that wax strip hopefully from Target. If it's in stock and we can wax our face. These are the toes. The piggy wiggies. See? I told y'all I'll show them but not too much. So that's done. Tomorrow I'll see y'all. We did a lot today. Shout out to us. The next morning. Hey, you guys. Let me fix my hair just a little bit. My claw clip is falling out. It is the next day. Is that going to say? And I was able to run to Target today. I had to run some errands. You guys will see me do that in Sunday's vlog. And I was able to get these facial wax strips. I really wanted the flamingo ones, but those were sold out. And I feel like they've been sold out because I checked for them another time and they weren't in stock either. But there was one left of these. These are the NADS facial wax strips. So this one is made with soothing shea butter and it helps to moisturize skin. It comes with 24 strips. This is what it looks like. So typically I would shave my whole face, but I told you I don't have the razors from um, Target so that's not gonna work so i'm just gonna use the strips so let's head into the bathroom in which i believe i lost one now i know how i lost it though i was trying to pick off the freaking um mini remote for my tripod because i took pictures outside today I took my own pictures outside and when i tell you that little remote is so hard to come out of my tripod so that's how i lost it now because i was really trying to pry it off of the, the actual tripod but i'm going to replace that tonight before i go to bed after you know i finish washing my hands or doing anything that requires me to get my hands wet so let's go in the bathroom so i'm in the bathroom here i know i'm really blind so i have to put my glasses on let's go ahead and open this up damn it's tape so these are the 24 strips dang 24 fit in this little thing i mean they are kind of thin it also comes with post wax post wax calming wipes you get four and uh, you only get four when you gave me 24 strips start adding up and you get one skin shield powder here we go it's not adding up because if you gave me 24 these strips how am i supposed to make this stretch thank you all right i'm gonna tag y'all in this video i'm not gonna get this feedback back here in this video i really don't feel like i need to read these instructions Okay, these are post wax strips, so I'm honestly gonna apply it to my face. I did do my skincare not too long ago. I'm not gonna wash my face because I'm only gonna be waxing my upper lip until I can get over to Sephora and get my actual um, razor. Peel it off. So I guess it's 12 and then you can use both sides. Okay. Let's see. Never done this before. I'm kind of nervous. Don't mind my now. I know you. Oh girl, I'm really nervous. I'm really nervous now. Girl, once you lay it down, you know you gotta lift it up, so. 
Is this how I'm supposed to do it? Yes. This is why I'm supposed to do it. Instructions said, ooh, okay, ready? One, two, <laughs> bitch, I'm not ready. <laughs> One, two. One, two. <laughs> it took them hairs off though. It took them hairs off though. It definitely did. Okay, Nads. I think you're supposed to apply pressure to it after. Not me doing that like a whole 30 seconds later. Not terrible though. Okay. Whew. Okay, I'm not going to OD right here because I'm not going to lie. My lip was really dry and the inner corner, too much information, the inner corner kind of split. So, so I have lip gloss here and I feel like it's not really adhering to that side, the corner of my mouth because um, there's gloss there. But not bad for the first strip. My upper lip is gonna stay. But I'm gonna do the other side. Whoo! Hmm. <laughs> One, two, not ready. One, two, seven, ready. One, two. job but I'm stop paying you hopefully I can see them they're just really small tiny here so okay that was unnecessary but being that I have one more strip I'm just gonna apply it underneath I don't remember how I laid it but girl there's no hair underneath what why do I think it would be it's mm, yeah, there's nothing here that hurt I'll tell you that much interesting okay I rate these NADS strips 10 out of 10 because they got the job done. Yes, they did. I didn't use either of the extra things. This post, I don't know how I feel about this. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this on my face. Had it been like underneath my arms or whatever, I would. And this skin shield powder, I didn't even need this. This was to help ease the pain. I'm a G. Okay, so I didn't need that either. But I like these. I'm gonna be using these until I finish the pack, and then I would like to try the Flamingo brand. But um, these were cool. So let's see that in there. Never needed to begin with. Throw that out. I did want to update you while I was talking about underarms. They want to update you on the underarms. That's how they look. I feel like all the melanated girls have not discolored because I don't really feel like my underarms are discolored. I don't really see a problem with it. I know others may, but that's your business. These are my underarms. But anyways. Um, I like the mask that I use. I did also shave like that. It had that slightly tingly sensation, slightly tingly sensation. 
but um yeah i'm gonna continue to use it to see if i see any lightening of the underarms again that's not what i'm really going for but that is one of the things that it claims to do so yeah face is wax well mustache is wax nails are done still gotta fix this one but i'm gonna do that right after i finish filming this video so let me put my glasses back on so i can really see i can really see y'all right now and here is D. still don't know what's going on with these little flaps but um <laughs> my twin gave me a tip she said to cut from behind the ear whenever i'm doing the ear tab so i'm gonna try that the next time that i install it we feeling refreshed we feeling renewed we feeling ready to run the road we feeling good okay we feeling 10 times better because we look 10 times better okay and physically i am feeling a little bit better my cold has pretty much gone away now um i still have a slight a slight 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 cough but i know by the end of the week she's gonna be gone so a lot better than i was last week last week i was down bad week 10 stush negative five but by friday i'm gonna be at a five and they're gonna be at a negative five okay so yeah you guys that is basically it for this vlog we definitely glue up in this vlog i'm very very happy about that that means i could get my work done this week okay so nails are done hair is done toes are done mustache is waxed i did a couple of masks i'm feeling really really good so i hope you guys really really enjoyed this vlog comment down below and let me know if you guys have tried any of the products that i tested out in this video if you enjoyed this video leave your girl a thumbs up subscribe down below become a part of the stush gang share this video with one of your friends and also follow me on instagram at the stush live definitely make sure you take some time to in indulge in some self-care this week pamper yourself just a little bit or a lot of it if you have the time and until the next video i'll see you guys all later bye why do i keep doing that bye <laughs>